Dahua Temperature Monitoring and Face Recognition Terminal. It's a new product. We are having uh, like a terminal with a face recognition and a thermal product in one device. And now everything, as what I always mention in our, uh, in our topics, that now everything is changing regarding to the, uh, to the virus, to the COVID-19. And because of this COVID-19, a lot of things has been changed regarding to the solutions, our behaviors, our attitudes, and our everything. And uh, regarding to that, and regarding to the attitudes of the people, a lot of things should be changed also to fit our new attitude. As you know, that the people now will have a new attitude and they have a lot of things they have to do right now. So, for the key points of this, uh, for this analysis, the key functions here, we will talk about the current status and we will say that uh, we have the temperature record and we have the preliminary screening. So the current status, we have the low efficiency of thermometer and infrared detection gun, manual temperature monitoring, workload, and high, high risk. As you know, nowadays, if you want to go to any place, there should be, a, there should be one employee who is taking your temperature. And for us, and for, I guess, for everyone, it's a, a, a little bit risky because this man, he will be very close to you. So if he is being close to you, he is not making a social distancing. Plus, it will be low efficiency because he is having a thermometer. So thermometer, maybe he needs to take your temperature one time or two times or three times. So many people will be behind you. So in this case, it's low efficiency just to stop everyone and ask everyone to stop and take their temperature. Plus, it's a manual temperature monitoring. And because it's manual, it will not be effective as much if it's automatic or it's used by a device. So what kind of requirements we have? Our requirements is to have a non-contact automatic temperature monitoring. Yes, because nowadays, everything should be non-contact. As you know, now, a lot of people, they prefer to pay by visa because they don't need any contact with anyone. So now, as you know, we need to have something like non-contact something just to make sure that we are not or everyone is away from contacting everyone. So we need a non-contact device to take the monitoring, uh, to take the temperature monitoring. And plus, we need something accurate and fast. So in this case, when we want to do the temperature recording, the temperature recording for the now current status using the thermometer and infrared gun, it will be manual recording and it's in, in, in efficient. Why? Because, for example, if there is for more than 100 person is coming inside the building, so the security, he will start recording everyone's temperature on a paper like Muhammad, he is uh, 36.9. Ahmed, 37.5. Obaid is 36.1. Like it's inefficient because he needs to write everyone. We need to record everyone who is monitoring, the, who is entering the building. What is his temperature? And for that, it's inefficient and maybe we will lose a lot of information. Plus, personal information collection is difficult for the security guard, he will start, he, will say he is standing there. So for us, the requirement is also to record abnormal temperature information automatically and plus collect the abnormal personal portrait automatically. So in this case, we are having some requirements just to change the current status. Now we will we like to introduce our devices that they are turnstiles and standalone. Our device is having a, a renovation project and we have several mounts we have a wall mount and we have vertical mounted as you saw in the video the vertical mounted it's like this let me just use this one we are having this vertical mounted and it's like uh, it's like a one device with a mount and you can uh, easily have it and stand it every uh, anywhere 
and it's very easy. No need for too much installation. No need for much. No, no need for brackets. It's it's ready for installation. And the benefits of these devices are what what kind of values we are having from using those devices. It's a very high accuracy. It's plus minus 0.5. When we say plus minus 0.5. It means that if you are putting this device in a very stable area, it will be less or equals to 0.5. Maybe the real temperature is 36.5, so maybe this device will give you 36.5, 36.6. No matters. It will be less than or equals to 0.5. And this will be very important to talk about this accuracy. If we are putting this this device. In a very stable area, it will be the most better for this device and the most stable for this device. And usually, this device we will put it at the entrance of any building, so we can um, we can control the people who are coming inside the building and collect those information about the face, about the temperature, and everything. So everything will be recorded. His face with his, with his temperature. So in case. And um, in that point, I can check everyone who came inside the building, who is this person, plus what is his temperature. So in this case, we can have this record and we can check this record one by one and, the, and, and we can know all details about the people who are inside our building. Plus, what kind of values we have? It will be non-contact. And it will be non-contact temperature detection and quick screening. This is what we are looking for at this year, or not this year, from starting from this epidemic situation. Everything should be non-contact. What do we mean by non-contact? It means that you will not stop. You will not stop to take your temperature. It, you will not stop to take your face. <clears throat> you just pass away, and the device will do the job. Because we don't ask you to stop like 30 cent centimeters or 20 centimeters near to the, to the device. We will not put anyone under the risk of, of, uh, of the situation. You just pass away and this device will collect the, the information about your face and about, about your personal and about your temperature and record them together. So in this case, you don't have to be in any contact with any device. Uh, when you are using this device. <clears throat> the installation. The installation is very simple. One power, uh, on the power, when the, on the power is used, convenient to move, and can be used standalone without software. So we will use a power, one power, okay? And you can move it anywhere you want. You want to move it in any entrance you want, and it's not a permanent. You can put it everywhere. Like if you want to put it uh, as a temporary solution for a building, for any place, you can just move it anywhere. And it can be used standalone. No need for software. So in this case, this is the most convenient thing we have to talk about. Like easy, easier installation at this situation, it can make us find a solution for many buildings, for many places. So like a lot of places, it's hard to install um, something like face recognition plus temperature. It may be the, the, uh, the, the ceiling is very high. Maybe you don't have a good place to install your device. So in this case, those devices or this device for the vertical mount, for example, it's easy to move, okay? And it depends what kind of solution you are looking for. Maybe the vertical mount, maybe the wall mount, maybe the... Uh, maybe the turnstile, so it depends what kind of installation you, you need. Depends which place, or it depends what kind of requirements your customer is having now. Okay, so this will be used without the software, and it's very convenient. And I guess a lot of customers now are looking for such kind of solution because this solution is having like a face recognition plus the temperature solution. Okay, what is the most important part we have to look about? We have to look for the abnormal alarms. What kind of abnormal alarms we are looking for? The most important thing in this situation, like a COVID-19, is the people who are having abnormal temperature plus the people who are not wearing masks. So 
Now, all countries are forcing everyone to wear masks wherever they are going, wherever they are uh, moving. So also inside buildings and outside buildings. And for the security reasons, we don't want anyone to come inside the building and remove the mask. Okay, not only he, well, not only we want him to wear the mask in the street, we also want this guy or those people to wear the mask when they go inside the building. So in this case, our abnormal alarms will be first the temperature alarm. So when any man is going inside or any people are going inside, if his temperature is less than the threshold temperature, he can pass, no issues. Okay. But if his temperature is high, he will get a temperature alarm, abnormal temperature alarm, temperature alarm. So in this case, maybe he can do recheck again using the forehead thermometer, or um, or if his temperature is high again, so we can make sure that we can do something emergency for that. And in this case, it's very good that we can detect those people who are having abnormal alarms, so we can uh, ch uh, check again what is the situation for them. Plus the no mask alarm. This is the most important thing that the no mask alarm is like, we can check one by one who is having a mask or not having a mask. Actually, when you have a solution that is, um, that is including all what you need and on one device, this is the most important thing in this situation that having the alarm for the temperature and the mask because now you are going, you are fit with any government requirement regarding to what they are required for any building or any school or any, any university or any mall or any of those places. Okay, after we get those information and recording in the system and record the information for the face, record the information for the uh, temperature, uh, record the information for the mask, what we need to do, we need reports. So for us, we can do exporting for the query and export for uh, of abnormal temperature reports. So we will have, to, we can export the alarm reports and uh, give it to you or to the client. And this is the most important thing. So you can have the log or you can have the reports for everyone who is passing inside and who is having abnormal alarms or something like that. Okay, the last things of the values that we will have a variety functions. What kind of variety functions? It will support access control, attendance, temperature monitoring, and mass uh, detection. Can I, can I have one question, please? Yeah, tell me. Yeah, actually, you, you are talking about something that is related to the access control, I believe, or, or the time and time is something like this. So, mm -hmm. uh, may I? Uh, Please. Is, is, it, is it a device can be used for the uh, uh, normal pay, uh, any uh, clients or normal person who is working through some particular areas or, or somebody who has to register for this device first of all? Any, we have to register the person first of all in the device to uh, check the accuracy, check the temperature or no need to register the person into the device because any access control device, you must have to register the person into the device that it can detect the face or some uh, any, your identity and verify uh, about your temperature or whatever. Is it like this or any, any person can uh, any, pass by this device and can scan his face? Hello, Muhammad. Uh, I understand your question and uh, the answer will be uh, this device has two modes. Uh, if you want to install on some entry exit point where you want to uh, monitor the temperature of everyone, even stranger or visitors, so you can install this mode. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. If okay. Want, if you want to install it for staff only or maybe register persons only, then it has capacity of hundred thousand people can be registered as face recognition or maybe cards or ex or uh, fingerprints. Okay. So okay, these two modes are available. Yeah. Okay, it's okay, but, but one more question. Uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, the person who is not resistant to the device, a stranger or something like this. So how mm -hmm. can we have the report? The same like access control report or the, we can have the report for the stranger as well? 
Yes, we can have a stranger report as well in our DSS Express software. You need to connect it. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. It will report the everyone the uh, the person everyone coming towards the device. It will note down the temperature and record it. Okay. So, so these Switch two mod, these two modes are switchable modes. Only one mod yes. we can use at yes. one time. Yes. Yes. But okay. uh, but uh, but uh, there is one more important thing to know that if you use this mode, then only you can use this stranger temperature monitoring mode. Okay. When you switch to access control mode, then only register people will be monitored with temperature and mask also. Okay. Okay. Understand. Understand. I, I, I think you have cleared it. Thank you. Thank you. Cleared. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Obaid. Um, so now the most important thing that those functions we are supporting now, the variety functions, the access control, the attendance, the temperature monitoring, and the mass detections, mass detection, they are the most required functions uh, nowadays are required by the governments. And uh, nowadays um, you will not find too much devices in the market that are supporting those, all of those functions in one device. As you know, if you want to install a face recognition and attendance and uh, temperature monitoring and mass detection, maybe you need more than one device in, in the local market. So this is the most important thing that we are following exactly what the new situation will be and what the government are asking for each country about that. And I guess now all countries are asking for the same. Like, uh, Saudi market, Jordan market, Egypt market, Pakistani market, all markets, Qatar market, everyone are asking for the same requirements. And I guess now the new situation for this uh, epidemic, uh, it will be like that. Checking everything, checking the alarms, checking the temperature. So those devices will be uh, the fit devices for those requirements. So I guess now, uh, I don't know if you have any question about this slide. If you have any question, please, you can speak on the mic freely. You can speak on the mic and ask. Anyone is having any question about this slide? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If we suggest this device for malls, can we, can we, for example, a security guard, can he see live what's going on? so that he not, doesn't allow anyone who is having high temperature? Yes, sir. Actually, this device will give you the alarm. So this device, who, who, which will give you the alarm. For, for example, if someone if, if is having a, a high temperature, so this device directly will, uh, will automatically there will give you that on the screen that this guy is having a high temperature. So in this case, it's like the access control it will, the security guard will not allow him. So it depends on what kind of mall entrance. So if the mall entrance is like this, is like this, the turnstile, so those doors or those turnstiles will not open for him. But if there is no turnstile, definitely there will be a security guard. The security guard, the device itself, it will give like an alarm uh, on the screen uh, for the face of the person who is having abnormal alarm. So in this case, the security will know that this is, this is the exact guy who is having the high temperature. Actually, if we are putting this device and want to monitor people, if we don't have turnstiles, definitely we will have a security guard who will monitor everyone what is the action is coming by the device. So in this case, uh, the device will give you the alarm on the screen of the device here. And directly the security guard, he will know that this is the man or this is the guy who is having the abnormal alarm coming from the device. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah, um, uh, I have the question related to the same thing. Uh, you have the turnstile onto the, uh, let's suppose in the mall, we have the turnstiles there. Okay. <laughs> or, or some uh, bus stations or you can see like air Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we can install the transcribe over there for the for the strangers, not for the registered users. Okay. So what will be the mod if, if somebody has the high temperature, uh -huh. so it cannot pass through that gate? Yes, definitely. Actually, yes. If if someone is having a high temperature, he will not pass through that gate. It will. Uh, so yeah, you we, need no need for, no need to register 
as we are registering in the for the access control the person registered into the device so if somebody is not registered even so it, it can pass either or, or it cannot pass yes. well uh, muhammad uh, thank yeah. you for your question thank you for raising this question actually i want to share one more thing in uh, in this uh, uh, for strangers, then you have to uh, make sure that you are using the relay output because it will uh, trigger abnormal temperature. Okay, so yeah, yeah, if yeah. Uh, if you, you use this stranger mode, you have to connect your uh, uh, access control device with the relay output to the barrier. Okay, as yeah, the temperature is abnormal, then the barrier will mo not open. Okay. But uh, if you connect directly with the access control, then it will be recognized with face recognition and then uh, it will open the, uh, the barrier. Okay, so I think it's clear. You mean, if, if, you mean if, if the relay is connected, uh, yes. the output is connected with the, yes. the yes. turn if, side. If normal so temperature any, anybody with the normal temperature can pass by with the... Uh, yes, like yes, it. yes, you can okay. see. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sir, I would like to add something also as for example, uh, not only this device can be connected to the access control, also uh, to the turnstile. Also, our thermal cameras can do the same. So, um, in this case, yes, we can control the entrances, like allow the people to come inside or not coming inside based on their temperature uh, information. So, in this case, uh, no issues, but it will be like um, case by case. So, we can check what kind of project you have. So, and if we know the details about your project, we can give you an advice that which, which, which is the best device you can use uh, in your project, whether it's a turn style or, uh, sorry, whether it's an access control device like this, or whether you can use a camera with a black body. So it depends on what kind of, uh, what kind of project you have, but definitely you will get a very accurate numbers inside uh, the malls and you will definitely get the uh, reports and all abnormal alarms uh, if you are using those devices at the entrance and it will do the job to be connected to the turn stars whether to open and close the door. Uh, this is, this is Mujtaba Nadim. I want to ask a few things. Uh, I want to know that uh, you are not talking about the black body or uh, these kind of uh, reference values. Uh, is it necessary for this product? No, um, no. Actually, the black body is. Um, I just mentioned about if you want to use the camera, the normal camera. So, uh, but for uh, temperature monitoring, how will you uh, you will uh, make sure that accuracy is uh, perfect? I will tell you. Actually, if we are using this temperature uh, monitoring inside the building, so uh, we will inside. thermal lens here, and it will be like calibrated in this area as this area will be, uh, will be the stable environment for this product. And whether we are doing the installation, we can do the testing. We, can, we need to make sure that this device is not, cross, uh, is not near to any uh, heat source or not near to any wind that would affect the temperature. So if the temperature is okay, so- But uh, all the mo most of the doors which are entrance doors, they have a high temperature sometime and sometime low in a day. They have a high temperature in the night. They have a low temperature for all entrance doors. I'm yes. not talking about that uh, because it's normal. Yes. That is, you cannot maintain the uh, high accuracy of environment over there. Yeah, I will tell you. Actually, and, uh, in this case, uh, it will keep beeping. The camera will keep beeping all the time. Yes, I will tell you. Actually, Thank you. it's a challenging for the products to be near to the heat source or uh, to be near. That's why some areas we have to install the cameras with a black body and that's why we always say that our cameras should be installed with a black body for this for this solution uh, this as this solution it doesn't need um for example it doesn't need a permanent installation sometimes or if you are using the turn styles if it's if, if we are doing the installation we have to make sure that at least at least if we are near to the door we are not very close to the door. At least maybe we can move this device a little bit, a little bit should make some distance between this device and, uh, uh, and the entrance, a little bit. So in this case, we can make sure that the people who are going inside the mall, they will, uh, they, 
they will not have the heat from outside plus the our device will not have the will not be very near to the temperature actually for any device for any electronic device we have to make the stable area to make sure that those devices are working very well you know any but, device uh, it's talking, for example for about the, uh, it's not possible in the, in uh, most of the cases that you cannot have a 3 meter or 5 meters space inside the walls or inside any door to just especially for this uh, monitoring i will and, show you some experience we have here uh, for this is this is my experience because i install uh, a lot of the, i tested a lot of products uh, from high vision from dawa from this uh, this uh, firefox and all this issue well sir i will tell you actually i will share some experience here that okay. we have a lot of requirements from governments uh, now i'm staying in qatar uh, and we had a lot of cases like uh, we had to install those cameras or uh, devices near to uh, entrances or near to many places. Actually, for our advice to the customer, we need to discuss with the customer for the best installation place. And yes, I didn't say that you have to install it 100 meters or 50 meters. Just only try to make it as much as it will not be affected by the heat source. Um, just not to be affected, uh, because if it's affected by a heat source, not only this device will be affected. For example, if you, as, if you are using the forehead thermometer, if you are using any temperature device, if you are affected by affecting it by uh, temperature, resource, temperature source, definitely you will have, uh, it will be affected. That's why always we say that try to make it as much as you can not directly affected by a heat source but yeah i know i know i know your example that all malls are very near to the entrance uh, uh the, those devices should be near to the entrance but for this situation we can give some advices to the client about what our suggested solution and i'm sure that those clients will not refuse especially if we are uh, if i'm sharing my experience here we are dealing with governments and you know governments usually they they are following very strict rules about installation and we could able to change some uh, of their minds about the installation place and yes not to be very far from the entrance but at least at least at least try not to make it affected by the door opening and the closing if it's important for you to install in that area i suggest that you can give some advice to just move it a little bit and I, I could tell you that during the installation, you can test the difference. If you are installed uh, here or after one meter or after two meters. So not all cases are the same because some malls, they have a small door. Some malls, they have a big door. Some malls, they have a big, many entrances in that. So, you know, there are a lot of cases. So it's not only one case. So usually I say, if you are doing the installation, you can decide on the side, which is the best installation. I cannot tell you, for example, it should be one meter or two meters or three meters because each country, it has its own temperature. For example, in Gulf area, many of the temperature outside will be 45, 48, 46, 47. But if you go to Lebanon or you go to Jordan or you go to Egypt, it will not reach that high temperature. You get my point? So I cannot say there's a general case for the temperature for all countries, but at the end, you are, when you are doing the installation, you can decide whether you have to move this device a little bit, a little bit to the back, or it's, it's, it's a good place here, or not. So the only advice I can give that, try to make it not affected by the temperature or the heat source from the outside. Area. I don't I want you to add one more thing in it. Uh, to this argument, Ahmed, thank you very much for your argument. Uh, yes, it's true that weather temperature affect this device. If you uh, you install this device too close to the do uh, outdoor door, and uh, when people come, and immediately if you take the temperature, it will be different because uh, the body temperature you you see in the the, the Gulf countries like UAE temperature in the coming uh, months will be like 47, 48 degrees, right? So if you take the temperature of body immediately before it go to the normal or maybe uh, body needs some time to adjust its uh, temperature, right? 
So if you take immediately that uh, reading, it will be, of course, it will be abnormal. But if you go a little inside uh, or maybe make a waiting area, you see in Pakistan right now, what we are doing in hospitals, we have installed thermal cameras and uh, they don't take the patient temperature immediately when he enters the hospital. They let him wait for like 90 seconds or maybe two minutes and then they take the temperature so that the temperature, body temperature uh, equals the, to, the, to the room temperature because air conditioning and these kind of effects, of course, uh, uh, the, the, the biggest thing is that if we talk about physics of temperature, temperature characteristic is to change on every inch. So how can you get the uh, uh, correct Im immediate uh, readings if somebody is walking in, uh, uh, in sunlight and coming in the peak, peak of the day, like two or two or two thirty afternoon, and uh, come directly to the device and you take the temperature measurement. So it will be, of course, it will impact that readings. So Ahmed's suggestion is very good that we can install the device somewhere inside, maybe a little more inside so that we can give a body to, to, to relax for, to adjust the, uh, the temperature to the normal, okay? So I think that these things we should do with the SOPs. There is no logical solution for that, but uh, because it's also an electronic device and it has principle to work to, to note down this temperature, right? But these kind of things we can adjust with SOPs to create SOPs. And uh, some, sometimes you have to, you have exact solution for something, but sometimes you have to uh, uh, follow the SOPs to get better results. So these, these things are calibrated from the factory. So what we do, ha we have to do is we have to create the ideal scenario or ideal environment to, to get these readings so that we can get the idea the people entering into your building premises is not sick. Okay, so thank you. Thank you, Umar. Uh, thank you, Ahmed. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, I have one question. Yes. Uh, what What is uh, the, any, the criteria that make me decide to use a normal thermal camera or this solution? Actually, it depends on um, many things. Actually, um, for example, uh, Actually, the one who will decide you or the client, uh, many things will affect your, uh, your, uh, uh, for example, uh, your, um, what can I say, Yani, uh, if you want, for example. Uh, I can add one thing from Pakistan, uh, so, <laughs> from, from my experience, because uh, everybody is looking for a solution which is used after this COVID-19 solution also, right? situation when it is finished then it doesn't mean that the device should be thrown away right so the for this solution is much more have much more advantage than thermal if you don't have parameter you can use uh, the thermal camera for parameter protection fire detection smoke detection it can be happen but if you don't if you are using only for this so maybe uh, your customer will argue with you that the price is so high so what's the, the long term uh, investment in this. So if we use access control, we can uh, use this device in this uh, COVID-19 situation as well as if the COVID-19 hopefully it uh, finished soon. So what we can do is we can use this same device for attendance. We, we can say, uh, use this same device for no mask detection or maybe sometimes some stranger come to your building and have a mask why he's wearing a mask when COVID, there is no COVID-19 or there is no SOP. Maybe he's like, uh, uh, he has some fishy uh, thoughts to, to, to do something fishy, okay? So this, this part, yes, these are, there are some applications you need to see according to the client requirement that if the client is army, for example, so they can use the thermal also after this situation. They can use it for border protection. They can use it for fire detection. They can use it for smoke detection. They can use it for parameter, long parameter detection. They can use in hundreds of applications for thermal. But if you are using this thermal camera for a mall, I think this uh, thermal camera will be useless maybe after one year, more or less, right? So for this kind of customers, we always suggest to, to have like SMB solutions, right? So this is a part of our SMB solution. And if Emmett, you want to add something. I have one question. Yeah. Mr. Yasser, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can we, can, is this device uh, wall-mountable? 
and uh, can this be connected to the HR system, HR database system for the time and attendance? See, sir, as you can see here in the picture, it's yeah. uh, it's uh, it's you can have the wall mounted one using the standalone, and you will have the vertical mount. So yes, we have the wall mounted system. Yeah. Actually, yeah. if you want to connect it to the HR system, um, you need to check what kind of uh, extension of export file we are giving uh, you for that. Mm -hmm. For example, if maybe our export file will fit your HR system, maybe it will not fit your HR system. So in this we need little development part, and uh, we can provide you the SDK, and you can check ah. with your uh, software development team how they can uh, integrate this software with our attendance system or our access control device, yeah, even absolutely. with the temperature measurements. So we can provide you the SDK and API. Yeah, and I'm sure the the device has the vegan output. Sorry, the vegan output to trigger the lock. Sir, for uh, the relay. Device, yeah, for the device outputs and all of those technicalities, I can send you, uh, for example, uh, about this device, what kind of outputs, the connections, and everything in a file. So sorry, okay. uh, I will add. This is not a card reader, so it will not have a vegant, uh, you know, vegant uh, protocol. So you have uh, to have uh, use the relay outputs of the camera. Uh, yes, you have one vegant connection available in this model. And uh, you also have RS232 and uh, one RS485 are also available. Yes. Uh, one Vignet also is available in this model. Yes. Okay, sir. Thank yes. you so much. Yes, sir. I, I would like to answer the previous question about whether what kind of suggest where can we suggest that uh, we will install the uh, the camera or the access or this one. Actually, I would like to thank my colleague, Mr. Obaid. He clarified some points and. You know, for if, if you want to decide which kind of product, many factors will affect your decision, like the price, like what kind of accuracy you want. For example, if you want to use the camera with a black body, you will get like plus minus 0.3 or less. Maybe it will be 100% accurate, 90% accurate. If you want to use this, uh, you will get the less than 0.5. So it depends what kind of accuracy you are looking for. It depends on what kind of price you can afford. It depends on what uh, your vision for this site. Maybe this site in the future you need to integrate with turnstiles and you don't want like a camera, you just want something on the turnstile. So actually deciding which kind of product, it depends on many factors. And it depends like in the future, do you want to keep, to keep using the thermal or you, or you want to keep using this device as an access control and attendance? So. In this case, if you want to use it like attendance and you want the face recognition inside, so you can use this device and it will be less than 0.5 Celsius degrees, the, uh, the accuracy. So actually it's case by case, but both devices are, uh, are very good to be used in all sites uh, at this point. And now the situation is those devices are the most required devices in the market. And all countries are looking for those devices. And I guess the new projects will be related to masks and temperatures and face recognition. So in this case, we can get those opportunities. So as you can see here, the entrance guide area, the man will come here and the temperature will be detected. The temperature is abnormal. He will go to isolation area. So usually when we go to any customer, we have to tell him what kind of design for our products or what, the, what is the design for the situation now. We should tell him that there should be an entrance area, there should be a temperature monitoring area, there should be isolation area, okay? Many things should be changed at the entrance. It will not be exactly the same as before because now everything is changed. So usually when we are doing the installation, we have to tell him that you will have the entrance guide area, there should be a temperature monitoring area. And if, when we say temperature monitoring any area, it means that maybe like one by one or two by two, or I don't know, but it's like the airport. If you want to go to the X-ray, if you want to get checked and make everything uh, accurate and everything is okay. So we have to do those zones. So in this case, when we go always to customers, we tell them, you will have this area, and this temperature monitoring area and the isolation area for abnormal alarms, okay? And this is if we are using the standalone, the vertical mode. If we are using the turnstiles, 
also, if he is taking the temperature is abnormal, also he will go to the isolation. So in this case, always we need to give the customer a suggestion to have areas at the entrance that this area will be uh, entrance, temperature monitoring and isolation area. So this is the solution design. We will do the design as per as this. So as you can see here, we will have the turnstiles here, turnstile solution, and we will have the stand alone. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. And this will be the device. This is one is ASI7213X-T1. This one is ASI7213X-T1 plus the ASF172X-T1. Those devices can be connected to NVR5 series-I or the DSS Express directly and go to the monitoring center. As you can see here, the monitoring center can monitor those devices and check what is going on and can check those devices by it. And here we have the turnstile also. Those turnstiles can be connected to the DSS Express here and can be connected to the monitoring center. So here will be the process. It will be an uncontact temperature measurement. After that, manual review if there is normal confirmation and this activate the emergency plan. So here, as you can see, we can have an emergency or something like that, just to make sure that we are having the emergency plan on our site and we are having um, a monitoring center and the security guard for our solution. Uh, is there any question about this solution design? Anyone is having any question about this solution design? I have one small question. I'm sorry for annoying. Of course. Uh, one device, how many templates it can take or users? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't hear the question very well. For example, uh, I have, uh, 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 for example, I have 5,000 employees. It can save all 5,000 employees in this uh, unit? Yes, sir. Actually, um, I would like, I don't know if I can show you this. This device support 100,000 registered people yes. and 100,000 cards also can be added to yes. the device. I have a picture. I and, uh, if your database is full, like for, for example, you are using 100,000 people already registered. So it will take 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 seconds per phase. Very good. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, it's very fast device. So uh, it's like uh, it's like very fast. So even if you have a lot of customers, uh, sorry, if you have a lot of uh, a lot of employees, it will be like 0 0.2 seconds for the checking. So no issues for the database because it will be it will take uh, a high number of people can be registered in the device. Plus it will be very fast. So you have no issues in the uh, in the speed of the people. You have no issues on the database. So. Uh, in this case, uh, our devices can uh, can can save those reports also for the for all of your employees about their face, about the pictures, about uh, the reports, the temperature uh, logs, everything for them. So have, if we care too much about the, the the speed of the device, also the database. Yes, sir. Does it have a centralized software? Does it have a centralized software? So if I have multiple uh, devices, I can transfer data of people, faces, and everything to the device through the network. You mean clients? I mean, you mean like uh, CMS or clients or VMS? No, see, if you're going to use it for face recognition and all, let's say yeah. that I have multiple doors so that uh, each door, I don't have to go personally and show, uh, you know, at uh, mm -hmm. make people show their face over there mm -hmm. to register. Instead of that, I can send the, the, these faces through the network. So that's why I asked whether is there a centralized software to see everything. What yes, happens sir. And yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, as you can see here for the DSS Express, we can do this if we are using the DSS Express. So the, the, the centralized software here, we are using DSS Express if you want. Uh, it depends if you want to, make, to, to use it like a standalone, if you want to make it centralized, it's up to you. If you have many entrances, yes, you can do it centralized using the DSS Express once you upload the pictures and uh, you can send them through a network to the devices. 
uh, actually we are doing the same in all our face recognition systems. So uh, usually we are using the centralized software. You can upload the picture using the standalone device itself, or you can uh, import it from uh, saved pictures and spread it all over the devices. How many devices can the software handle? And is the software free? DSS Express, actually, you have to, uh, it's a licensed software. Uh, so you can do, uh, you have to do uh, licenses. Um, actually, we have, we are having base channels, like uh, for uh, normal videos, for uh, some functions. But if you want to add more, you have to, uh, you have to license. So you have to pay for license, purchase licenses. So for those free or purchasing, sir, it will be case by case. I mean, for example, if you are having a project, you can talk to the salesperson about the purchasing, about uh, how many channels he can offer you, or those, those things, actually. So the, 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 the stage of the purchasing of the licenses, uh, it will be uh, based on the design on how, what kind of design you are having. Maybe you are having four or five or six or 10 or uh, how many uh, devices you have. So about the purchasing and the licensing, yeah, you can talk to, to, to the sales. I don't know, maybe they can offer you something else. <laughs> but uh, how many devices, sir? Actually, if you are talking about medium project, let us say medium project to use DSS Express. If you are talking about medium project, it can, it can handle. But if we are talking about big project, we need uh, to decide something else. Because those devices, those softwares are, we can do customization or no customization for them. So it depends on what, what, what is the project. So in the project, we can decide or uh, like what kind of device you are using, how many entrances, what kind of connection. So in this case, we can decide. Uh, how many users, how many DSS express uh, users yes, yes, can be there users, and correct. Uh, it, can, oh, okay. it can support up to 50 to 100 it can support actually the ss express you can uh, you can find it on our website but it, it will not be the licensed it will be uh, you can use the free part of the dss express and you can use them and after we finish the training we can let you know more about our dss now so hello this hello this abdul bari uh, just ask one question like this camera how long it will uh, how many meters will detect the images and at a time how many uh, face it will recognize at a time within one second or two seconds well sir you know your question is exactly on the same slide we are having here <laughs> so <laughs> okay 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 fine fine i will wait yeah. for you okay okay yeah fine. actually uh, the features for this thing, for those devices like uh, as what i said we will have the terminal here, uh, the stand alone, the wall mounted and the vertical mount. Uh, both of them will have the seven inch touch screen. So they will be touch screen. And the ambient temperature will be 16 Celsius to 32 Celsius. The temperature accuracy will be uh, less or equals 0.5 Celsius. So 36.5, 36.6, 36.7, like this. Uh, not more than 0.5 Celsius, the accuracy. And the temperature monitoring distance, it will be from 0.3 meter to 1.8 meter. So if someone is like 1.5 meter, he can pass no need to stop. So when he is more far than two meters, it will not detect. It will not give you the exact accuracy. So that's why always we will have the zone area for the detection. And we need to make sure that it will be like between 0.3 and 1.8 meters. Uh, for the speed of the face recognition, sir, it will be 0.2 seconds. So 0.2 seconds, it will be the detection uh, speed for the face recognition. It's I'm so sorry to cut you. So okay. sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, actually, we have so many questions today in the chat, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to answer your questions, but uh, if some, some questions pass away on the upside of screen, so if your uh, questions are not answered properly, you can send us email also about these questions so that we can answer you, okay? So no need to worry. We, I have shared the email uh, information. So if you have any uh, issues, complaints, or any kind of uh, like uh, confusion about this product, today's presentation, you can hit us anytime email, okay? So sorry, Ahmad. Okay, continue. Sure, sure. 
uh, after we finish, now we will finish actually, but uh, we will tell you all details about sending the messages. So sound the prompt, we will prompt, we will have temperature abnormal alarm. So if there is any alarm is going there, there will be a sound is coming out from the device. Plus the unlock mode, we will have the face card and the password. So our device can support face card and password. You can use face and card, face or card or password, face and card and password. It's up to you. So in this case, uh, I don't know if you have any question about this, uh, about this, uh, this page, but it will be no contact as, as what we mentioned before. Here also we will have uh, the same, but some, some devices we have, they don't support the card. So for example, this model, uh, SI7223X-A-T1, it will be like, Unlock mode, there is a face and password only. There will not be a card. So if you want to select the device, you need to make sure which device you are selecting here. And plus we will have the turnstiles here. So uh, those turnstiles are stainless steel 304 and uh, we will have IR light detectors, 30 pairs. We have the lane width like 600 millimeter to uh, 1000 millimeter. And we will have the uh, acrylic glass for the barrier material and it will take uh, 100 to 130 uh, volt uh, AC power supply. So we can give you the turnstiles and we can give you the terminals together. And also I would like to mention that our devices can be integrated with any uh, third party turnstile. So no issues for that. Uh, I would like to, to, to tell you the last slide maybe um, about the technology difference between thermal imagery and uh, thermopile. Uh, thermal uh, thermal uh, imagery will be like accuracy sensor. We will have factory ones, calibration temperature, support temperature compensation algorithm. Our efficiency will be 0 0.5 seconds per person. Monitoring height will be 1.5 meter to 1.9 meter. If we are talking about the other thermopile, it will be two seconds per person. So you can imagine like between 0.5 to uh, two seconds. And monitoring temperature will be, monitoring temperature distance will be between 0.3 and 1.8. If you are using other thermopile, it will be 0.5 meter. Phase detection, it will be, uh, it supports forehead detection. And face capacity, we will have 100,000. Other thermopile it will be 50,000. Our turnstile, will, our installation will be wall, tensile vertical movement, the same for a thermopile. Here I'll explain the main advantage of the thermal imagery for us. It will be wide range of temperature monitoring, longer temperature monitoring distance, higher temperature monitoring speed. Actually, I would like to mention something. When, uh, when we are talking here about some points, uh, for us as a technical persons or the solutions department, we have tested those devices in our offices. So for me or for Mr. Abide, we already did the testing for those, uh, for those devices and we are sharing you uh, what kind of testings as uh, not only PowerPoint points, like we have tested the speed, we have tested the distance for those devices and we did many POCs for a lot of customers for that. So the scenarios here we are having at the last, uh, it will be like office building. So you can do human body temperature. Uh, we are giving you like some ideas about where can you install those devices so you can start contacting your customers. So we will have a human body temperature monitoring at the tent entrance, office temperature monitoring and attendance, visitor temperature monitoring. So those ideas are very important for you. So you can start looking for uh, giving your uh, customers uh, like an advice, what kind of new solutions they can have after the COVID situation. For the school, definitely after the school reopens, definitely, I am sure that they will start asking for such kind of, uh, for such kind of solution. So you can, we can start. We can start supporting the schools and introducing the new solution for them. So uh, it will be like a human body temperature monitoring at the entrance. And some schools, they have uh, dormitories 
temperature dur dormitories so we can give them uh, dormitories uh, temperature monitoring and personal management also visitor temperature man uh, monitoring so those are some ideas we can start looking for after the epidemic or in the current situation for the COVID-19. Also in the restaurants, after they reopen, we can go and offer our solution for all restaurants, especially those restaurants, big restaurants, they are having a lot of uh, employee, a lot of clients, they go there. So we can give them our solution for that. Let me uh, tell you four or five things very quickly, very swiftly. Uh, these access control devices can be used as attendance device, but right now we don't support this with our smart PSS version. Even our uh, new uh, smart, uh, smart PSS access control version, uh, it can be only supported in DSS Express or DSS Pro. Okay, so be clear with that. Second thing is that the total capacity of registered faces is 100,000 people in the database. Okay. 100,000 people can be registered for face attendance. And I think that for SMB, 100,000 people is more than enough, right? So uh, this can be very useful for your attendance and access control applications. And uh, the distance for temperature measurement is, well, we recommend that 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.3 meter to one meter is enough, but it can detect your face from 1.8 meter. So it can be used uh, till 1.8. Uh, the recommendation is up to one meter. We suggest one meter is enough. Three feet is more than enough to detect a very good picture of uh, some face, okay? The accuracy of temperature lag between 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 centigrade, okay? So this is the accuracy part. Then uh, we, uh, this device can also detect the uh, face mask detection because right now uh, the lockdown is uplifting and uh, some grocery stores and some supermarkets will be open, but with the SOPs that everybody should wear a mask before he shop. Okay, so this device can be used for face mask detection also. But remember that if you use a stranger mode, then you cannot use a uh, mask detection. Mask detection is only applicable when you use face recognition system or maybe attendance system or be for a staff or a registered person it will be not uh, applicable to the stranger mode okay if you want to get the temperature of everyone then uh, it will not be uh, cannot be used for mass detection it must be registered users to uh, detect the mass this is right now uh, what we have in information maybe we can customize according to the need and applications if uh, you have any projects require this we can discuss in detail uh, you can shoot us any email or you can also contact us our local regional teams are available sales teams are available so you can shoot anyone to to hit your requirement and we will be getting back to you as soon as possible okay and uh, fifth uh, thing most important is the installation restriction installation restriction we don't recommend the backlighting or exposure or low lightning okay so this kind of environment you we don't recommend or outdoor requirement we cannot support right now because for temperature measurement outdoor temperature is uh, varying so much so that we cannot control the accuracy so this can be used indoor completely indoor and uh, we can uh, install in an area where the lightning condition is good the the flow of people is in one direction not in like like a hall uh, some somebody is coming from right somebody we can make a like restricted area uh, to uh, the person should follow the queue okay it cannot be used at outdoor right now okay fifth thing is that some customer already have their barriers swing barriers turnstiles already deployed in their uh, premises or their businesses so we can provide you the SDK or we can provide you uh, API file to integrate your existing customer also to support these solutions and work efficiently for this uh, kind of environment, okay? So uh, if you need to integrate your software, your attendance software with our device, we are, we are always welcoming our customer with this capacity and we are always welcoming our all SIs with this capacity. It's, it's very useful for us and you to grow together, okay? So these are all things uh, from this session. 
And if you want uh, to ask some more questions, you can uh, write us email, you can write us any kind, uh, any uh, uh, type of requirements. So you have some projects, you, you are confused about some requirements, so you can. Okay, so, uh, uh, okay, one more information right now. Uh, I have been told from my senior colleague from our MENA team, which is responsible for this product. Right now, this product only uh, supported in DSS Express and we are developing DSS Pro version also available for this uh, suitable application. So only right now we have only DSS Express. So this is clear. Right now, because I am technical engineer and he's our senior product manager. So he's telling me that DSS Pro version still not released. So we currently we can use only DSS Express. So this is more clear now. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that now is uh, much more clear uh, about all these requirements, okay? Thank you everyone and wait for us for the next Thursday or the next Saturday for the Arabic session. Thank you everyone. Thank you Mr. Obaid for being here as a co-host and for your continuous support. Thank you.